And now, a Zone at 91.3, 91 second movie review. Five, four, three, two, and action! Ever since being surprised by the trailer drop, I've been itching to hit play on the movie Amsterdam, and really my curiosity came from the extremely stacked cast list with a list of names that would take me longer than 91 seconds to read out. The film takes place in the 1930s. While trying to clear their names after being framed for a murder they witnessed, three friends uncover one of the most outrageous political plots in American history. Now in the end, this movie garnered a bit of a mixed bag of reactions from me, ultimately tipping me towards the side of the scale that would not have me recommending it. The main positive with this is the cast and performances, most notably the performance of Christian Bale. He plays such a quirky character that is without a doubt the heart of this story. His subtle and sarcastic wit is incredibly charming and his chemistry with co-stars Margot Robbie and John David Washington is so magnetic that you'd find yourself appreciating or yearning for similar friend group dynamics in your own life that you either have or you would like to have. I also love the social commentary laced throughout the film, brilliantly using the backdrop of the 1930s to address behaviors that are taking place in present day. Where Amsterdam lost me is in the time it took for the film to decide where it was going. The movie meandered for a huge chunk of its 2 hour and 14 minute runtime, and I think by the time it found its direction, it got way too big and ambitious for its own good. Some scenes dragged on for way longer than they should have, and by the time the credits rolled, I was left more exhausted than satisfied. And for a movie with a stacked cast all bringing their A-games, I'm sad to say that Amsterdam felt like a waste of time and talent. Cut! That's a wrap!